They teach us how to be overachievers. They teach us how to achieve more, how to get to that next goal and set the next and go to the next. But what they don't teach us is how to get calm and produce from a state where you are relaxed and healthy. But I believe that we have the right to do it from a healthy place, from a place where when we're successful, we get to enjoy life. I'm the founder of Vacation of the Mind. We are a guided meditation company, and we're not just a company, we're a lifestyle. Because it's my personal belief that meditation is a lifestyle. It's something you practice all the time, that you do daily, that you do in moments, in situations. Her ability to integrate a very spiritual practice to a very grounded experience was what really was my takeaway today. So the first step to identifying your stress is becoming aware that you even have it. Becoming aware of where is it showing up in your life? How is it showing up in your life? When does it show up in your life? All right, everybody, let's get up and get on our feet. The second thing that you can do to reduce your stress is to move. So we have a meditation event here at the Chicago Sky Deck. We're really excited about it. Uh, Brianna was able to do it in her presentation today. Was be, she was able to take these kind of fluffy ideas or emotional or spiritual ideas and make them practical. Did you know that we cannot effectively communicate when our heart is beating over 90 beats per minute? We cannot effectively communicate. So if you're mad at your team because they messed up, and you're yelling at them, you're not effectively communicating. What was going on is adrenaline's pumping through your system, you know, you're a little bit scared. And so what you wanna do is you wanna inhale and exhale through your nose and breathe into your diaphragm, your belly area, and that'll help calm your central nervous system. If you do that four or five times, you're gonna, your nerves are gonna calm right down and you'll be okay to go right out on that leg. We make meditation so difficult, and what she did in the course of her talk was broke down meditation and mindfulness in such a way that I know that I can easily implement them into my life. Meditation is a mental exercise that trains the brain to think, process, and react differently. And I'm going to teach you how to retrain your brain through meditative techniques to think, react, and respond differently.